Hey guys, I've shown this app before. It's called DVD Profiler. To, for my money, it's the best uh, one on the uh, f from the App Store, you know, for the iPhone, or better yet, the uh, iPad. It's my iPad 2. Uh, I think I've, I've upgraded to an iPad 2 since uh, since I originally uh, showed the video. Anyway, this one is a way you can shake. So what you do is you, you press the button here and it shakes and it picks a, a DVD out of your collection at random. Now I've got it set to pick only Criterions. So I'm going to spin the wheel here and pick one. And let's see. Round and round the wheel goes where it stops. Nobody knows. And it's going to stop right about. Oops. There we go. It's going to stop on this one, which is Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Uh, one I have not seen, so I'm going to watch it, and then um, I'll come back and let you know what I think of it. First of all, let me um, let's find it on the shelf here. Uh, yeah, here it is, right next to the Great Dictator. So that's that one, and here's the actual one I'm going to watch. Uh, yeah, Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times, silent movie, uh, his last movie featuring The Little Tramp, I know a little bit about it, last movie fe featuring The Little Tramp, and should be a great movie, uh, it's gotten great reviews, I've seen bits and pieces of it over the years in, uh, you know, like compilation shows or whatever, first of all, let's take a quick look at the, uh, Spine 543, this gives you some, um, some insight into it. I uh, got the plastic on it, but his uh, he'd married Paulette Goddard, uh, and this movie and The Great Dictator, which I also own, were two movies that starred Paulette Goddard. She's gorgeous, I think. Uh, she was 20, he was like 43 at the time when he married her, and he was married to her for I don't know maybe eight years till so he had an affair with somebody else. Look at all the extras on this thing. Not even too many to even mention. Um, black and white. 1936, uh, 87 minutes, monoral, although it won't matter much, and 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio. So, pretty cool. Um, let's see, I'll just take it out of the uh, plastic. i got to watch it anyway, so let's take it out of the plastic and, and see what it looks like. I've got a uh, protective sleeve on this thing. Just a basic resealable thing, but um, it does the job. So what you need it to do. Now here's this. There's the disc itself, which I'll be putting in in a minute. Simple looking, but it's got uh, some gears on it. Uh, Chaplin had said when he made this movie that it was going to be uh, kind of a comment on the Depression. There's Paulette Goddard. Gorgeous. 20 years old, married to Charlie Chaplin, 43. Yeah, 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 yeah. This scene from the movie. Um, there she is again. Ms. Goddard. Um... So you get this booklet, pretty thick actually. Of course, in black and white. You know, Champ. You know, uh, talkies had come into play sometime earlier and had been the the rave. Uh, of course, it had started with uh, the jazz singer Al Jolson and had been getting a lot of notoriety. And, and most movies were coming out with sound. Chaplin wasn't sure. He wasn't sure, first of all, that his character, the Little Tramp, would survive it. And second of all, he, uh, he he wanted to have the universality of no voice being associated with the tramp. So as long as the tramp didn't speak, he would work in any language. You know, you could have him in Russian, you could have him in Spanish, you could have... It didn't matter. And he had universal appeal. In fact, at the time of this movie, 1936, Charlie Chaplin was probably, no, not probably, he was he was the most well-known actor-director uh, in the world. Actor and director. And he uh, had a lot of fame. He had taken time off uh, after his last film, which was City Lights. And uh, City Lights is a great, I, I hope it comes out in the Criterion Collection. It's one of the ones I really want. 
a beautiful film. If you've never seen the ending of that, it it, it said it was the most romantic and beautiful acting job uh, in any romantic type comedy. Uh, the end of City Lights, so you get a chance to watch City Lights. But uh, anyway, Modern Times. Uh, He'd, he'd gone on kind of a, a trip to Europe after City Lights, and the idea was that he was going to kind of see Europe and, and take maybe six months off. Well, six months ended up being like two years. So it took a long time before this was made. And uh, Chaplin didn't film like everybody else in the world. Uh, he, uh, he would get an idea, well, let's put the little tramp in this situation, let's put him in that situation. And that would kind of be how the film would be made. Uh, so some days it didn't work. If he didn't have an idea, they just didn't work. So uh, this film cost, I believe it was two million to make, and you can imagine in 1936, two million is a lot of money. Uh, they were sh they weren't sure it was going to make the money back, but it did in spades once the critics got a hold of it. And it is, uh, from my recollection, a very funny film. So I'm going to watch it, and I'll be back and uh, finish up the review. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, we'll finish watching Modern Times, and uh, it's a great movie. Uh, it, it's every bit as funny as I thought it was going to be. Uh, here's some of those extras that I... Uh, I this macro mode will work here on this. It gets, it's particular. Sometimes it wants to work, and sometimes it doesn't want to work. You know, it's in a macro mode. Well, go figure. Uh, wonderful movie. Hilarious movie. Uh, Charlie Chaplin stars as a... Uh, he's a worker in a factory, and... You know, the uh, you have to watch this thing, but the visuals on it, uh, this assembly line, him trying to go faster and faster. If you ever saw the Lucy show where they're trying to put the bonbons in the box, it's of, it's of a similar nature, but uh, it's funnier. It's funnier for a lot of reasons. And you know, there's two guys alongside of him that are trying to get it get, doing the work, and he's trying to keep up. And uh, you know, he he uh, he ends up screwing things up and getting sucked into the machine and. Then on his break, you know, he gets off his break and he's shaking because he's he's got this this motion that goes over and over and over again for hours, and he's he's just a mess. And they come to him because somebody's got an eating machine that's going to save industry a lot of money. This you know, no longer will your workers get tired on their break. You know, this is going to feed them and do this and that. And so they hook they pick Charlie out of the out of the lineup here, and he gets in, of course and he gets uh, involved with this machine, and. The machine just uh, does not operate like you think it should, and it starts out all right, but like everything else in the comedy, you know, it goes sour quickly. And of course, Charlie is uh, left in the aftermath, so he has to, uh, you know, basically uh, be a victim again. <clears throat> and he's a good-spirited victim, but he's a victim nonetheless. Uh, so you know that happens. Then he ends up getting fired from that job. He um, ends up getting arrested because he, he apparently is leading a protest, though he really isn't. He's trying to be helpful, but he ends up getting caught in the wrong place, wrong time. He ends up uh, thwarting some criminals a couple of different times. He ends up working in a department store as a night watchman. He uh, falls for um, uh, Pauline Goddard, Goddard uh, and uh, she's kind of a waif. She's kind of a homeless person looking to support her. Her father and, and two sisters. Her mother's apparently, I think, dead. Uh, he's home, he's uh, unemployed. Uh, you know, so it's the it's, it's showing the depression. People needed Charlie Chaplin during the depression because it was one of the few things uh, that could make somebody laugh. And he made fun of the depression rather than you know wallow in it. Uh, although there's certainly a lot of scenes that show that you know disparity of the depression. There's also this comedic timing that he had and, and showing the. Just the uh, the way he was able to laugh at things and, and make fun of things, so he falls for her. They um, they kind of go to this department store where he's a night watchman. Uh, one thing leads to another. He ends up losing that job. Uh, you know, time and time again, he just uh, you know diff the different scenes that are in this movie are hilarious. The uh, there's a there's a roller skating scene with him on a blindfold. I don't know how that he did it. I don't know how we did it without a blindfold, much less with a blindfold. I, I suppose you could probably see out of it, but it does, it's just amazing. Uh, a lot of physical comedy, but also, you know, Charlie Chaplin could be funny. He could show um, emotion of different types. He, he wasn't a one-dimensional guy for sure. So, uh, you know, this one gets my review 
five stars for the film. And the Blu-ray media, you know, they, they could have done it. Whoops, five stars for the film, and I'm going to say four stars for the media. Uh, it's it's about as good as they could do, but I'm still going to give it four stars. So they, it gets a five-star rating for me, which will be updated to the database where uh, everybody who's ever seen this thing uh, can, can uh, rate it. And you can see accordingly, um, yeah, 89.5% of the users who watched it liked it. And 92.1% uh, uh, of it likes this particular release uh, that on this uh, version. Oh, that, is that what it is? Oh, I should probably fix that then. Like, that should get better than, than I said. If that's what it is. And it's, it's, not just the, uh, it's not just the film, but it's on this particular release. Well, the Criterion release is not going to get any better than that. So I'm going to give it 5 for the film, 5 for the media. It still change, doesn't change my review. It's still 5 stars. And that'll go into my database, uh, like I said, for everybody else's. So, um, great film. I'll make some comments down here in my in my comment section, and I'll I'll make sure I uh, note that I watched it today because it says never watched before. Um, great app here, guys. And I'm gonna be doing one of these uh, periodically, so you'll see me do a uh, you know spin and do a review, and then I'll go ahead and rate it as well afterwards. Uh, you go on Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic. You can see some trailers from the film. Uh, you can see what other people rated it. You can uh, get a lot of information about it, get an overview of the film, see what kind of extras there are on it, what kind of features there are on the film. This will tell you there's a, there's a featurette, there's feature trailers, there's deleted scenes, interviews, and some scene access. All of this I know because it's in, in this. Uh, really great app. So if you don't have an app for your uh, movies, I highly recommend it. Um, for my money, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely something to, to check out. And you can put in what you own and everything else. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, DNF DVD. Take care, everybody.